Hello there. Today we're going to scrap this 25 inch Philips television. Got glasses on, got gloves on. That's really about all you need for this. Turn around, you see. The shell is on with some hex screws. The base back here, this uh, four torque head screws. Easy to work with when it's on its face. Put that down here. We'll start by removing the torque screws. Another option here is obviously just to uh, smash it with a hammer. Two or three good whacks and that'll be loose as well. Shell. Let's get a set of these, quarter inch. We'll do just about any television you come across. These screws, I usually only keep a couple of them to put it back together. The rest go in the scrap pile. Just enough to hold it back together. One of those didn't want to come out, so hopefully it comes off. There we go. This guy up. So you can see the inside here. The circuit board here. That's the main board, low grade. With a little board here. Got speakers on either side. Just the yoke. Got your degaussing cable. Could be most usually copper in there, sometimes aluminum. And this television has been sitting around for weeks now, so I'm not worried about any stored energy. Recommend at least a few days, but let, let it sit around. You don't have to worry about discharging it. This guy you can start by loosening up this cord here. Just gonna pop it off. Try not to cut it a bit. Pop off this little board. Get it out of the way so we can get our the speakers out. They're also in there with some hex heads. Two of those on each speaker. Those are loose now. Now, back of the yoke, pull this small circuit board straight up. That way you don't break the tube. Just like that. Basically what I'm doing right now is freeing this circuit board so we can rip it out. Usually four, four wires connected to the yoke here. Usually two on each side. We'll snip those. this guy out. Just a little piece of metal in there usually. Now this particular one, the degaussing cable held on in the four corners. It's with a piece of like vinyl. Sometimes they just tape. You just cut them with a um, utility knife. In this case I find with these uh, vinyl pair of scissors actually does it a heck of a lot quicker. So we'll snip those four corners out. There's also a small piece of aluminum wire. This one right here, if you can see that. This end is held on with a spring. So I just use the cutters and grab it, give it a yank. So the spring doesn't come back and pinch you. You pop out that cable. Find the other end of that aluminum wire here. It's a looped around this corner. So I'm just gonna try and cut one of the loops. And then give it a yank out. There you go. Everything this should be this board should be free now. See how easy it comes out. Oh, that wasn't too bad. Add those speakers. We got two sections of the decaussing cable on this one. There's your board. Got, these are these are aluminum pieces here. Another one on this side. You got copper in here. Uh, I got some copper in here. Inside here, if I can get that little plastic piece cover off. You can see there's a little copper in there. Let's 
couple of little guys of copper in these two. And inside this guy, you can you could sell this uh, probably in with the motors, or you could smash it up. Copper inside there. You know, all the various wires you can cut those off and either strip them or uh, throw them in with the insulated wire. Toss this in the, and you got your speakers. The mag magnet in there, of course. It's a little piece of copper inside there. If you, if you haven't taken these apart before, uh, these spe the speaker magnets are okay. If you need uh, magnets for scrapping, I recommend microwaves. Those, those magnets are great. I love them. Now for your the TV yoke. There's good stuff in here. I'm switch this to a regular Phillips bit. You probably could actually use the uh, hex head as well. This one has two clips on it. I've seen any, anywhere from one to three clip, clips on these televisions. Okay, loosen that up. Keep, save this. This is stainless steel. I do check the uh, the bolts on these. Some of, some of them are steel. But definitely the majority are stainless. Now you left just this. These plastic little doohickeys usually pop right off for the most part. Every once in a while is a, is a, is a different style. And sometimes what I'll end up doing is taking a flathead and a hammer very carefully, knocking it down to, to break it off. But fortunately, the majority of those pop right off. In this case, I'm just going to give it a couple of twists and they pop right off. There are some where instead of having this, this kind of piece in here, you can see all that nice copper in there. You can just smash this to get the copper out of it. Some of them are glued right to the tube, in which case sometimes I'll, I'll take the hammer, smash the plastic off carefully, try not to smash the tube, and just take the flathead screwdriver and go underneath a few spots and pry it up. Not hard to do. Throw that in the yoke for smashing part later. There is a piece of stainless steel in here. I leave it, but I don't like breaking the tube. There is lead in here, no need to breathe that in. But, uh, generally not worth it to me. And basically I just put the cover back on. Switch back to the hex head. A couple of these screws. I just put one in opposite corners. I find that's enough, more than enough, just to, uh, to hold it in place. The top one down there, so we'll do the bottom one over here. And it's off for recycling. Around here, most of the time, if you bring them to the town recycling center, you have to pay to get rid of these. In which case, it's not worth even touching them. You maybe cut the wire off, you know, the cord off, and that's it. Uh, I do have a place uh, that will take these for free. It's, uh, I found it by going to the EPA's website and looking up uh, television recycling. They had a bunch of links. Uh, some were vendor specific. Uh, manufacturer specific uh, like Dell, um, Toshiba I think was on there, there's a bunch of them. Some of the manufacturers only take back their own products. There was one, I think it was Dell, that will take back anybody's. And that's one of the ones I found. I happen to have one not too far from me. So I just load up the truck with a whole bunch of these and, and make a trip. And they just basically have a drop off bin for me. Uh, hopefully you have one near you. I do encourage you if you do find them on the side of the street. Uh, don't smash it to a, to a million pieces and leave it on the side of the road. It makes a mess for, and it doesn't uh, help us scrappers any. Um, in my town, you do. some people will pay you to put stickers on them so, so the garbage man will take them, otherwise they don't take them. You have to pay for them. If there's stickers on them, I have no issue scrapping it and putting it back where I found it because they've already paid to get rid of it. You know, it saves me the trouble of having to haul it around. Uh, I think that's about it. Happy scrapping.